another amazing Ohio day. Welcome everyone to a new series I'm calling Polaroid Point of View and today we have the Polaroid Impulse. This is the autofocus version. I've never used this, I just got it. It looks like the flash covers the lens. We got the little slider. Everything looks like it works good. Let's see here, 600 plus. I'm hoping it takes this 600 film, otherwise we won't have an episode. So let's just load it up and see what happens. All right, I think we're good to go. Here are eight wishes, use them wisely. Okay, we have eight shots, gotta remember that. Yeah, and it's gonna read 10, but we only have eight. But everything on the camera looks like it functions great. It's a sonar autofocus, that's the specific thing with this version. Other than the fact that it kinda has an ugly retro look, I don't know much about it. Oh, gotta get the film. Oh my goodness, almost forgot this other pack of film. So what I thought we'd do today is go in to visit my friend. He's got a little clothing store called Modern Traditions and I thought it'd be awesome just to take a couple snapshots. It's in this building. I'm downtown. We're gonna go to this little open house here and head on up to the fifth floor. I think it's the fifth. Yeah, fifth floor. All right. Did I say down? No, we wanna go up. So like I said, I picked up this camera. It's funny, when I first saw this camera, I hated the way it looked. And the more I kept watching videos and just seeing some different things on YouTube about it, I'm like, I really want to try it out. Hey, there's Aaron, old friend of mine. You might've recognized him from a couple old videos. We got our customized personal handshake. This thing's like, I mean, we've been doing this handshake for years. It's your classic best friend handshake, no big deal. So I'm just gonna try this camera out right now. We'll just do the flash first photo. Boom. All right, not too bad. <laughs> that worked out perfect. All right. That is right. I'll just take a look around. I, this is the second time I've had a chance to check out this shop. It's super cool. I mean, he's got this wall of mugs. This might be a good photo op. I don't know. Let's take a look here. It's hard to know. You know, it's that stressful thing. I only got eight photos. Well, now I only have seven photos. So we're up on the fifth floor. Check out this view from up here. <laughs> oh yeah. You never know, there could have been a cool shot from that angle, but I don't think so. But either way, still pretty cool. All kinds of clothes, lots of clothes. I'm not really here to shop. Ooh, flannels, now we're talking. Got any pearl snaps? Oh my gosh, we got vests. Guys, we got vests. I'm here to take photos, but look how cool this karate hat is. Are you kidding me? All right, photo time. We got seven photos, let's get something good. I'm looking for stuff that with just like a lot of colors, Oh, look at these jackets. All right, I need to stay focused. We're looking for colorful things. So I'm gonna take a shot of this wall of hats. That photo came out pretty good. You know, it's a little bit of color. Now let's take a look here. It looks like that my first photo is a little dark. So I moved the slider to be brighter. Hopefully this will make the shots better. Oh, that looks like a cool shot. Let's go for that one. The classic shoes hanging. I think that turned out pretty good. I like that, I'm happy with that. All right, so what are we down to? We took three photos. That means we got five left. Ooh, what do we got over here? Toto Vinyl Record. This one has all the hits on it. Are you kidding me? I don't have a record player. What am I even looking at this stuff for? I'm more of a wares person myself. When I go out to the thrift store, I like to see these old toys and stuff like this, but it's cool that Aaron's got this up at his shop for people like me but I'm here to snag some photos. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna try to get a shot of these signs, but it's gonna be reflective, so I'm gonna try to cover the flash. Eh, it kinda worked. I didn't think that flash was gonna pick it up that well, and it reflected. Oh, this is another. This is probably my favorite. This one turned out great. That sign in that wall looks so cool. Got a little bit of clothes in the foreground. Pretty good. So I don't know what we're up to now for the photos, but we're just gonna keep taking them until we run out. So I don't know what would be a good shot here. That's kind of cool. All right, all right, we got something. Now I didn't really show up the wall. There's like decoration on the wall of his logo, but let's just take a look at some of these photos so far. They're all developing, so the film's good, the camera's good. Now it's just a matter of just trying to figure out something worth taking a photo of. This is always the hardest thing, because now that we're getting down to the wire where we only have like, what do we have, like two, two more shots left? Gotta get something good. I like to take photos of people if I can. 
I don't know most of the people shopping in here, so I'm not gonna get photos of them, but I think I'll get one of the register. There it is. All right, that's pretty slick. I like that. Ooh, the colors came out really good with that yellow. All right, we're doing pretty good. Now I got one more left. Stressful. I don't think that one's a good one. Maybe if we get a wide shot of the store from out here, maybe? I don't like it. You know, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It just seems like a wasted shot. It, it's just going to be too far away for any real detail. You know what? What am I thinking? We're going to get a selfie. I'm just going to hand this camera off to his mom and have her take a photo for us. This is great. This will be a great ending shot. Oh, just got to show her how to use it here. Just tap that button. The only thing different about this camera, the location of the buttons on the back. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> there it is. We got it. Eight photos, modern traditions. Pretty cool to see this store, man. This setup is so cool. And I know I didn't really show too much of the store. You got to check it out if you get a chance. If you're into vintage clothing, modern traditions up in Akron, Ohio, you can take a look. I'll put a link in the description. You can check it out. And if we're going to leave, this is the way to leave through the VIP cargo door elevator exit. Aaron and I have been thrifting for years. I don't get this intense with it. He went full on crazy and now he has a store. He's selling all kinds of clothes. I mostly go to thrift just to pick up old cameras and things like that. His new store is a super cool shop. It looks so awesome. And the best part is it's got all the cool stuff, like all the stuff you usually would have to spend hours and days going to different thrift stores to find. He's got it all. So just going to say bye to him. Now, I'm pretty sure this camera is done. There's no more shots left because it says there's two shots left. I really wanted to get a shot of the exterior of this big building, but I don't think there's... Yeah, there's no film. And if there was, we would have exposed it. So that wouldn't have worked either way. But the camera worked great. I'm excited to keep trying this out. I want to shoot some more photos through it. The Impulse AF autofocus system using the sonar focusing. And again, I have it set up for the brightest setting. And it still seemed like it was taking darker photos. And I, I don't know if that was a combination of just a dark room or the fact that everything's painted black and me just being further away from the subjects that I was taking, you know, the flash is limited and the whole interior is painted black. So it just looks darker than it really is. But some of these photos I think came out pretty good. The focus looks a little soft, but I don't think it's the camera's fault. I think I was just moving the camera too fast after I took the picture just to get the shot really quick. I don't know, but I'm happy with the results. I definitely want to put another pack of film or a few more packs of film through this camera just to really test out the interior and the exterior. I know some of these photos came out a little darker than I would like, but instant photography usually tends towards the darker side. I'm just happy that the colors and the tones all look pretty close to what it really looked like. So I'm really excited about that. These photos turned out great. The camera works great and it's got its own screen protector built right in. How cool is that? Knob top, go make something.